We are delighted to present the following program, brought to you by the NEA Big Read Irving and the Irving Public Library. For more information on the NEA Big Read Irving and for the complete program lineup, please visit cityofirving.org forward slash 3712. Hello, I'm Miss Jan from the Irving Public Library. I have a story today called Coyote Raid in Cactus Canyon, and it was written and illustrated by Jim Arnoski, and it's published by Putnam Penguin Books for Young Readers, which is a division of Penguin Random House. And I thank all the publishers for permission to read Coyote Raid in Cactus Canyon. It was a hot and windless desert day. On the canyon slopes, Cactus stood tall against the blue sky. High up in the arms of the tallest cactus, a wren was busy making her nest. Down on the stone-covered ground, a cottontail hopped softly. Quail moved noiselessly behind green and purple prickly pears. An antelope squirrel perched on top of a cactus log to nibble a fallen desert flower. All was peaceful in the canyon, but the mood was about to change. The coyote gang was coming, and they were bringing trouble. Ornery and full of mischief, four young coyotes headed down the rocky slope to the canyon floor. They sniffed out the cotton tail and chased him into a thorny thicket. They barked at the cactus wren until she flew away from her nest. The coyotes flushed the quail from their cover behind the prickly pears. And then they stuck their snouts into the cactus log to growl at the antelope squirrel hiding inside. When they could not find any other animals to chase or to scare, the coyotes turned and faced each other. Slowly, the four young coyotes circled, watching one another's every move. The wren flew to the top of the prickly pear to see the coyote standoff. The cottontail and the squirrel peeked out from their hiding places, and the quail gathered close together to watch as one. Suddenly, the coyotes rushed one another and began to brawl, snarling and yapping and snapping their jaws. They tumbled right on top of a rattlesnake that was slithering by. The startled snake quickly coiled and she rattled. The coyotes froze, their eyes fixed on the huge snake. She was ready to strike. The four coyotes backed away until they felt safe and brave again. And then they growled and barked and they showed the snake their own fangs. But the snake held her ground and she struck out at the coyote gang. The four coyotes turned and they ran, disappearing over the canyon rim. And the rattlesnake, she slithered away on her own way. The quail settled back down and the cottontail hopped softly. The antelope squirrel found another cactus flower to nibble on and the wren flew back to the arms of the tallest cactus carrying a fuzzy clump of coyote fur to use in her nest. The canyon was a peaceful place once again. Thank you for listening to Coyote Raid in Cactus Canyon.